Hi guys, and welcome back to the Casually Avid Gamer Plays 7 Days to Die. Welcome. At the very end of the last episode, we had found this little town, and this looks like it'll be a pretty solid place to hole up for for a little bit. Um, right now, we've got... Is that a bunny? That bunny's trying to get in there. That's adorable. We've got a pretty full inventory right now, so what we're going to do to start off with, I think we're going to make a, a drop chest. Secure storage chest. Craft. Good. And we're going to place it... We're going to place it out here by the edge of town so we don't have to fight our way into it. And then let's drop off what we don't want need right now. Let's see. That we don't need right now. We can put that in there so we stop stinking. Eggs we don't need. Seeds we don't need. Plant fibers we don't need, cotton we don't... Well, yeah, I'm, I'm just keep saying everything that we don't need, if, if that sounds fun to you guys. Alright, so what else? Uh, we should put our sleeping bag down. We can put some scrap iron in there. Arrowheads. Everything else we can kind of hold on to. We need the food. Oh, and we don't need those either. Actually, we'll keep these with us just in case. I'll drop our sleeping bag right there. Now if we die, that's where we'll spawn. And that's not too shabby. Next, okay. Those doors are pretty heavily barricaded. <laughs> Luckily for us, the windows are not. So let's just search the trash. Nothing. We s I don't hear or see anybody in there, so... I'm gonna hop in. My apologies, as I've somehow muted everything. There we go. I, my, my cell phone just decided to take a, a swan dive. And now, we loot this place. Uh, paper we don't need. First aid schematic we do need. So we'll just read that right away. Beverage cooler. Water, good. Empty glasses are good, because hopefully there's... <laughs> There, hopefully there's a toilet in this place. And normally I don't, uh, you know, get down with drinking from the toilet. But in this game, it's a source of water. It's murky water. Come on. There we go. Hard metal door. Maybe we can break that down. Rebar frame. I'm hoping all of these can be, yeah, scrapped. Where'd the rebar go? We don't need the rebar because we're not doing, we're not going to be able to do concrete for a long, long time. Okay, and that's a sealed chest, or a, a sealed crate, so we need to open it. Man. Oh, that was, seems kind of pointless now. See, we can get in there in a little bit. Let's search the rest of the main store first. Iron arrowhead, that's good. All the scrap metal we've been getting is going to be really useful if we can either find a forge book or find a forge itself. Because then we can start making some iron arrowheads, which will do a ton more damage. Leather pants. We'll read those. Of course, we know how to make leather pants. The problem is, we don't know how to make, you know, leather. More bottles, good. Not worth it. I'm not collecting just random books and paper because we won't need paper for a lot. Wow, I think the only thing you really use paper for is shotgun shells, and we are far, far away from iron shovel, awesome, and an iron garden hoe. Those are both uh, great, one's for digging and one's for uh, planting things, so I'm okay with that. Iron chest armor, once again, will be useful when we can make things out of, or when we can build a forge. When we get when we get the forge book. Sorry for the darkness in here. Uh, 
In post, I'll try to remember to turn up the gamma. But it's kind of a dark game. Ooh, shopping basket. More water. Water is excellent. Water is always excellent. And actually, is it? Did we? Yes! So I'm going to chug all the water I got. And we'll put those in there. Because <laughs> now we can drink turlet water. The uh, Because we got a cooking pot, we can actually boil that water when we put down a campfire. And that will uh, purify it so it doesn't, you know, <laughs> give us dysentery. Which, you know, nobody likes. Okay, leather tanning. That's good. That is excellent. So now we can make that leather armor that we've been reading so much about. Rotten flesh is not a thing we need. Tuna will take. Medicine cabinet will take grain alcohol. Nice. Alright, so let's scrap these to consolidate. Let's scrap these to consolidate. Arrow. Craft those. Do we have anything else we can break down? Inventory management's kind of a big deal in this game. All right, let's get out this. Let's see if we can't break into this back room. This door. Oh, actually, probably easier just to go through the wall. In a lot of cases. see can we squeeze through here yes good okay where's the easy stuff first leather gloves oh we already have it so we'll just leave it wall safe usually there are gun parts in here and it's going to take forever to break into so let's look at the rest of these first because they, they're a little quicker to open and if somebody starts breaking down the door i want to be able to uh make with some professional level skedaddling. Bunny would like in. Are any of these full? You know, I had read on the forums about some people complaining about a, a glitch where a lot of things that should hold items were empty. But I hadn't really come across it until now. I think all of those are empty. Alright, so we're going to fix our stone axe again. And we're going to see what we can do with that wall safe. Now, we could probably dis discuss politics right now, because the stone axe, which is the most piddly of all of the tools, is going to take a while to get through this. So I'm, I'm really kind of stoked that we found this town. I'm sad because we haven't found a forge, uh, a forge or a forge book yet. Um, that's going to be kind of a problem. But I think building our first base near here is probably a really good idea and probably what we'll do for tonight is clear out I think there's a three-story brick building around here and I think we're just gonna clear that out and then board it up for the night and we'll spend the night in there and then we can begin in the morning kind of figuring out where we want to put our our initial stronghold with uh, this this store here the the toilet is our water source I haven't seen a natural water source yet I haven't you know seen a river or anything like that so that we're, we're drinking toilet water until that's it oh my a a junk shotgun stock we can't even scrap that for anything so let's fix this again We've still got some inventory space and we've still got some time. So I think that's pretty much everything we could get in here. 
We'll save the uh, pass and gas. <laughs> I love that name. I think we'll save that for later, possibly. All these core blocks. That was a lot of killing we did. We're going to try to hole up in there. So we need to go make sure it's cleared. Here, bad guys. Ooh, what's in the car? Sounds like somebody's in there, doesn't it? So maybe we'll go with that one. <laughs> this one might be better. <laughs> That one has friends in it too. Repair tool. Oh, he's trying to come out. That's good. We'll wait for him to come out and we'll just shoot him. Or Oops, missed his head. I said her. Or I said him when I should have said her. My apologies. Oh, why aren't you gone? Oh, do I have to wait for her to turn into a gore block? That's bad. Okay, we'll just try it there, maybe. Let's look around. Let's get our club out. See if we can't find. Anything else? Beverage cooler. There's that. Okay, I think somebody outside heard us. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. Because that'll happen. Although if we hear him banging around trying to get in, we're going to want to... Like that. Well, let's just go out the front and do a quick sweep. Rather than waiting for these kids. Just kill everybody outside. Next. Since we're already planning on spending the night here... Ooh, corpus. Don't need either of those. At some point... They're going to make some of those animate, which is going to scare the Bee Jesus out of me. Let's see. Put those under there because we want to take out these stairs. Which, as of right now, zombies, zombies can climb up one block, but they can't climb up one block plus the bottom of a staircase. And... We can. And the other thing they can't do is jump up to climb up a ladder. Let's see. This is all good. Ooh, pipes. That's will hopefully be good eventually. Another cooking pot. Good. Ugh. There we go. That time we were smart enough to uh, let him come all the way in. Oh. So let's see what else we got. Okay, we only got a couple of minutes left. We've let's get our get on with our search. There's a toilet there. And there's a bear. What is a bear doing in here? Okay, we'll have to explore that later. Now well, let's check out the roof. See what's up there, if anything. Let's see. 
good, good, good. And a duffel bag. Yay, duffel bag. Hunting rifle bolt, that's good. Hunting rifle barrel, we can actually probably go ahead and scrap. The bolt will hold on to, so we'll just leave it in there, because that's a pretty good item. Oh, we don't even have room for all this. So, scrap cable into scrap iron. What else can we scrap? We have a bunch of stuff. There we go. Craft that into wood logs. Wow, it looks like we need another chest already. Oh, and this terrible hunting rifle barrel. I'm going to scrap iron. Bird's nest with eight eggs. Excellent. Can always use more feathers. Nothing else here. Oh, let's go. Before we go, let's check out this last. This last room. Now, this should get us high enough off the ground that we're not too easily sensed throughout the night. So we should actually even be able to cook stuff up here. Uh, and we'll be doing a lot of that tonight. We'll be making up some torches and, you know, anything else we can do. <laughs> Football helmet. Yeah. Uh, we can put you in here for now. <laughs> now, the football helmet is far better. Even though it's a bad football helmet, it's far better than what we've got. So, yeah, buddy. And then, I think, get that bandana on there. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. This is great. And... Read that. Good. Still no forge. That's going to hold us back a little bit. But, oh, this is all to the good. So I'm going to put down a chest right here. And then I'm going to start go back and collect our stuff from the outskirts of town before it gets too dark. Uh, I may kill that bear. Who knows? Because everybody's making a ton of noise and it's getting kind of crazy. Okay, guys, one last thing before I go. I went out and I got all of our stuff from our drop chest and I put it in these two chests here. So uh, this will be our base for a little bit. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to, I got, I also killed the bear. We, you heard the bear. Uh, I didn't want it tearing this place down in the middle of the night. So I went ahead and shot it with a whole bunch of arrows. So the next thing we want to do is we need to cook it up. And we are going to do a lot of stuff tonight. Uh, first we need to get our uh, a cooking pot just one wait, 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 wait. Only, only our seven murky water sorry about this I'm a little disorganized I will get more organized during the night so first because we are down to one water which, I mean, we're not hurting right now, but I'm going to go ahead and cooking pot, 15 water. It takes five minutes to boil all that water. So we'll start with that. Those two frames will get us four minutes, and then we'll drop. There we go. Now, the problem with cooking is it attracts attention. Light leaks out, zombies get interested. Hopefully this high up, we won't draw too much attention to ourselves. Uh, but that's a risk we kind of need to take. And now, after that, we're going to cook up this bear meat. Because right now, we stink of it. But I'm going to let that go, and I'll do that off camera. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I've been having a blast with this game. I absolutely love this game. Uh, so make sure you check out the next episode as we go looting more of the town. I hope you guys have a good week, and like I said, if you like this, hit the like button. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'm the Casually Avid Gamer, and we'll see you next time.